Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome to How to Connect with Goddess Modron and here are my top three tips. So number one, Goddess Modron is the mother archetype and goddess in ancient Welsh tradition. So as the mother goddess, we really want to connect into our womb and our womb space. And we can do this both as men and women. So for men, you're connecting to our hara, so into our centre and into our core. And my tip for this is to start with your breath. So we're going to do this together. We are going to take a womb breath. So what I want you to do is we're going to hold our hands in a womb cradle. So it's this way of holding your hands together and then your fingers together like this. And you're going to hold that over your belly and just rest it there as we close our eyes. And we're going to take three deep breaths. You're going to breathe in through your nose and then out through your mouth. Really filling in the belly as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, deep breath, letting the breath go and letting your belly empty. Breathing in and breathing out. And just as you're doing this, noticing any thoughts or feelings or sensations that come up, whether this is easeful for you or whether there is any tension, is there any resistance or is there any flow? And just checking in with yourself. So just noticing how it feels to connect into the centre, into this core, without judgment or objective, just breathing in, feeling your belly rising and falling. And you can do this as a meditation, you continue this for as long as you wish. Just breathing into that centre, into that core, thinking about the centre of ourselves. My second tip is that Modron in the Welsh Mabinogion, which is our ancient Welsh text, Modron is mentioned there and she is the mother of Mabon. So Mabon is the archetypal son and in this tale he's actually lost he is taken away from her. So I really invite you to feel into the story and feel into our child self, your child self, and where it has been lost or taken away or pushed down. You know, all of these aspects of ourselves where we love to play and love to have fun, you know, all these ways that we bring joy into our life. How abundant is that within you? And thinking about, is there any way you can journal about this? Is there any way that you can invite more fun and joy and play and laughter into your life? You can also journal about maybe in the ways that you need or want to mother yourself. So bringing in that self-nurture, connecting into that non-judgmental, high vibrational love of the mother archetype and how can you actively bring that into your life is there anything that you need anything that you want anything that you can do and my third tip <laughs> for connecting with goddess modron is to connect in with her at this time of the year so she is a goddess that's connected with the autumn equinox um, so the time of the last harvest, so bringing in the harvest and bringing in those seeds, choosing which seeds we want to keep, which ones will be our harvest next year. So what we're going to take forward and those that we're going to let go. So again, I encourage you to reflect on that and to really connect in her, connect in with her this time of year. So read her story, go and read the Mabinigion, go and research more about her at this time now the autumn equinox and connect in ways to this festival with her you know the colors of orange out in nature be with the leaves all of those types of things and if you're interested then in a week's time for the autumn equinox and i will be guiding a goddess modern journey so this is a meditation where i take you through the myth and the legend and i do this with all of the goddesses and i take you through every month each one this month for the autumn equinox it is goddess modron so i will be taking you through in a guided meditation where you'll relax and be taken away on her journey with meditation sound and relaxation so if that sounds wonderful to you you are warmly invited to come and join us at the end of this week and if you want to know any more about crystals or incense flowers 
dances, stories, all those things that can be connected in and used to connect with different goddesses, then please check out all of my memberships, all of my online programs, courses, workshops, and just connect with me on Instagram, Facebook, all the information uh, is there and you're warmly welcome to come and connect in more and find out more. So I've been Rachel, the founder of Under the Dancing Trees School of Sacred Dance and Healing and thank you so, so much for watching today. Mwah! Lots of love to you and enjoy your time exploring and connecting in with the Mother Goddess Modron. Blessed be.